Hello, this is Susan McClough with Before It's News and Wake Up America. And this one is for the people who think there isn't some sort of war on Christmas and religion. The Army, Don't Say Christmas by Todd Starnes. It's a message that was conveyed to a group of soldiers at Camp Shelby by an equal opportunity officer from the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute, according to a soldier who attended a recent briefing. It's unbelievable that the Army would ban Christmas like it's a bad word, said Michael Berry, an attorney with the Liberty Institute, a legal firm representing the unidentified soldier. Two weeks ago, a team meeting was held at the Mississippi base with various leaders of the 158th Infantry Brigade. During the meeting, they discussed an upcoming Christmas football tournament, and the Equal Opportunity Officer immediately objected to the usage of the word Christmas. Our Equal Opportunity representatives stopped the briefing, told us we can't say Christmas, the soldier told me. Almost the entire room blew up. Everybody was frustrated. Equal Opportunity rep told our commander that not everyone celebrates Christmas. We couldn't say Christmas celebration. It had to be a holiday celebration. Soldier said there was a brief but heated discussion about political correctness. At one point, the Equal Opportunity representative tried to deflect the criticism by pointing out it was the Army's rules and not hers. She said an individual could say Christmas, but as an organization, the Army, you can't say Christmas, the soldier told me. What does the Army have to say about it? There's no policy at the 158th Infantry Brigade. First Army Division East, or First Army, that forbids using the word Christmas, Public Affairs Chief Amanda Glenn told me. She confirmed there was a discussion at the meeting about the football tournament. She said it was meant to be a team-building event that had no tie to a specific religious event or holiday celebration. Equal Opportunity Advisor simply stated it would be more appropriate to call it a holiday football event, she said. But Attorney Barry tells me it was made very clear to the soldiers in the room that the name change was not merely a suggestion. She stated that the word Christmas had to be replaced with the word holiday, Barry said. A soldier who contacted me said it was just another instance of the military trying to curtail public expressions of the Christian faith. Between the Air Force and the Army, it's like they don't like Christian values. They don't like the word Christ or Christmas, the soldier said. They don't like you talking about it. Barry said it's a shame that the Army has implemented word police. Are they going to have Merry Christmas police going around issuing citations to a soldier who slips and says the word, he wondered, treating Christmas like it was pornography. As a matter of fact, the Army actually treats pornography better than it does Christmas. It's not the first time equal opportunity officers have caused trouble at Camp Shelby. Earlier this year, Todd Stearns, uh, he reported exclusively about a briefing at Camp Shelby that labeled American Family Association as a domestic hate group. After my story was published, says Starnes, Secretary of the Army ordered military leaders to halt all briefings on extremist organizations that labeled evangelical Christian ministries as a domestic hate group. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a war on Christmas. There is a war going on on religion, and it is ridiculous that a country founded on it would tell their military that they can't say Christmas. Thank you for listening.